welcome to BrassSquirrel.com. Today we're going to show you what our brass is looking like after it has been cleaned. In this drum here, this is a 10 inch diameter by 12 inch wide drum. I have a thousand 45s in here and we are running two pounds of stainless steel with this mix and over here we have a thousand nine millimeters now this is our dry mix we did for today and in this chamber we have 45s right around 645s um, and that's also in a dry mix so which we're going to show you what they're looking like as they're coming out so first what we're going to do is we're going to show you what our water one looks like and open up our tank and show you what we got now this has been running for three hours just that simple and you can tell by that water everything comes off of the brass You can see that brass, that is as good as it gets, guys. Look at the interiors. That looks like a new bullet. Now I'm cleaning them with the primer in. So we want to show that these bullets have been shot and used. These were all picked up from the rain. That is just as good as it gets. Now, Let's go on over to our dry mix and we're going to show you what we get. Since we're comparing 45s, we'll take our drum of 45s instead of the 9s right now. And we're going to open this little baby up. Now, in our dry mix, pull out some brass. You can see, clean, but not perfectly clean, but very shiny, very silky uh, exterior, very, very clean. Let me get my bucket and my, my tray and I'm going to dump these out for you so you can see them all. Babies out. Now, this is a special mix, dry mix that we make. There you go, guys. That is very clean. That's tumble dry. Now, a lot of guys like to go this way. They come right off the range. You can see the primer in it. Run it through the dry, then straight into decapping and sizing. Then at the end of their process what they'll do and you can see how it's still got it's still black inside no different than a vibratory would do either but very very clean very shiny this won't scar your dyes. What the guys will do they'll take it at this point decap it size it and then as they and flare it and then when they're getting ready to start loading they'll then take these run them over into the water and then their pristine interior and exterior. So we have our dry mix running in our wet mix and you can go any combination and vary any variation in between. Now back to let me grab a couple of the dries. Empty them out. We'll take like a handful of them. All right, here are dries. And you can see them from the wet. Let me see if I can get that. You can see just the difference. It's amazing. I mean, the difference between those two, if you can see them well, these coming out of the water 
look literally brand new. The machine just does incredible amounts of brass. Now we do want to let everybody know we have a single unit coming out which will do have one drum system or two smalls. It's half the size of this version so that will be coming out in the next month and uh, just keep checking back with us and as we go along we're going to keep making more videos for you and um, we're going to show you more and more and we're going to show you like we said in our first video the good bad and the ugly because from at this point then what do you do with all of that stainless steel how do you deal with all of this and we're going to show you a bunch of tricks and some neat ways that we've come up with to deal with all of that and uh, not make it so strenuous on people. Actually, it's quite simple. Um, we'll see you on our next video. Thank you.